you guys? Marty Schwartz here, guitarjams.com, and it's a really cool day. It's really exciting um, because it's December 2nd today, and December 2nd is the very first day that I put up the very first video lesson on guitar jams on YouTube, exactly one year ago. So it is the year anniversary, and the very first video I put up on guitar jams was Metallica, uh, The Day That Never Comes. And I'm going to do uh, a little bit of that Master of Puppets. I'm going to do those first, uh, first two or three little sections there for you, just in honor of the year anniversary and the first video I ever put up. All right, so the, the first thing that we want to do is we're going to play a power chord, and what I like to call is a super power chord. So we're going to put our index finger on the seventh fret of the A string, ring finger on the ninth fret of the D, pinky on the ninth fret of the G, and we're going to get the low E in there as well. And we play it and stop it real quick like this. Just like that. Then we're going to take this shape, the super power chord shape, and move it down to where the root's on the fifth fret of the, D, of the A string. And we're going to go 5, 4, 3. And that chord does not have the low E in there, only that first chord. And we move it down and we go. Just like that. One more time. And a little tip when I'm playing those power chords where the root's on the A string, I let the tip of my index finger just lightly touch the E string so it's muted. If I'm strumming down all the way, you still won't hear that open E. See, it's muted. But that takes a little work. So anyway, we've got this E power chord with the root on the seventh fret. Then we go down. And then we've got the next riff. Now I've, I looked in, up some tabs and it looks like, you know, what was written was, you know, like where we're using the A string and the E string. But the exact same notes and I saw Kirk Hammett on YouTube playing it and he was playing it up here. So I'm going to teach it to you this way which is also easier for a beginner, and it's the exact same notes. So two open E's, and there's a bit of palm muting. That's, you know, I'd rather have you get the notes first, but there's gonna be some palm muting. Uh, you know, where you let the string vibrate under your right palm, but we're gonna do two open E's, and then index finger on the 12th fret of the E string. Then two more opens to the 11th fret. Then two opens. Then we're going to do a power chord with the root on the 10th fret of the E string. You can do a super power chord. And we're going to do that slide down. This time it's going to be 10, 9, 8. So watch. Two open E's again to index finger on the seventh fret, then sixth fret after two open E's. So it's always the two open E's. So open E, seven, open E twice, six. Once we get to the fifth fret, it's only one open E. So we get down. So watch this. Here it is in slow motion or slowed down. So, yeah, so, you know, as we go down. Um, once we get, we do two open E's and then we get to the fifth fret and we hit five and then zero once, four, zero, three, zero, two. 
back to the riff again. So here it is, regular speed. <laughs> like that. I'm going to show you one more part. It sounds like this. Pretty tricky. We're going to do zero, one, and then middle finger on the second fret of the A string right after that. Followed by zero one again, and then ring finger on the third fret of the A string. Zero one again, followed by pinky or ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string. Same pattern, zero one on the E. Ring finger on three of the A. Zero one again. Middle finger on the two, but twice now. pattern again, but when we get to the third fret with our ring finger, then we do a new riff and it looks like this. So what we're doing is we're going to go power chord with the root on the third fret of the E string and we play it, slide it down a half step like this, then open E string. So it's So we do it once, then we do it twice, so we do slide down, open E, 3 to 2, open E, and then just 3 to 2, and then the whole riff starts over again. Just like that. So here it is really slow. lesson. And so after it goes through that, it just repeats that little slide down into the next part, which you feel free to request it. I may get to it, I may do it. If we get a lot of requests for it, I'll do it. There was a lot of requests for this song in particular. So that's what we're gonna do for right now. So once again, Marty here on the year anniversary of Guitar Jams. Thank you so much, you guys. It's been a pleasure hearing from you and, and it feels really good to know that the lessons are helping and that you know the feedback and the testimonials I get are uh, really great, really inspire me to, to keep going and doing it. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next lesson. Doing more stuff.